152, and I'm out. So an average of 146 FPS, not bad. I mean, not great. Not, you know, like not great, but it's okay. It's a very light prime, only being 10 kg. I'd say it's okay. Oh, God. So I'm gonna swap out the original barrel for the Omega one now, just to see, with no zero. Mm. I think the zero might throw off in the results a lot, which is sad. We can talk about that later. So yeah, the um, Omega Red Exus barrel will slot right into the original thing, and it actually looks really nice. <laughs> we were filling around with this off camera, and it fit really well, and it clicks right in. Honestly, if you wanted to put some other scar on there, I highly recommend that. You might want something to help center that, but honestly, that looked dope. And I know you can get those off of Monkey Mons, which might be a good purchase if you like the C to S. And depending on how well this Exodus Bureau performs, they might be the way to go. So the original barrel might be good if you are running the original stock 10 kg spring, but we don't have any upgrade springs that are the C to variety, so we can't really test this with better spring yields, but I can probably just make it a little assumption that hey a longer barrel might do better at that so we're gonna do five worker gen threes again it primes and chambers just the same there's not much change besides the barrel so let's see if our numbers actually go up i'm gonna reset the chronograph so that i don't have to do that you don't do the math well <laughs> Here we go. Much easier to light up with the chronograph now that it's like got a longer barrel. 172. So already I'm seeing the improvement. <laughs> 148. 149. 135. <laughs> and 159. So average of 153. Interesting results with the longer barrel. I already forgot. on the screen right now in comparison. Uh, a very simple swap and you need to realize one thing that I will say about having barrels that are longer than it, I do not even need to take apart the two halves to swap out the barrel. This one I literally just unscrew from the front and now we're gonna put on the foot of brass. Alright, so yeah 153 average over five darts with the 27 centimeter barrel. Honestly little inconsistent honestly the average didn't actually go up that much but I from the first shot it looked gorgeous. So now we're testing with a foot of 17 30 seconds with the stock 10 kg spring no spaces whatsoever. 92. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I think this one might be too long. So this is a longer barrel and it's also tighter than the original barrels. 69. Haha. <laughs> nice. Oh. Ah, perfect. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> nice. <laughs> 148. <laughs> 130. Let me test the air with this, because this is a printed part, so. It's pretty decent. There's a lot of leaks, so you might want to Teflon tape that thread. Uh, I'm going to put the spacer in and see what kind of FPS we can get. Because with the 10 kg spring, we weren't getting an improvement because the barrel is about twice as long as the original one, and also it uh, it's much tighter as well. So again, for those asking, now it's about two and a half inches of pre-compression. So five worker gen threes with a foot of brass and the 10 kg spring with a spacer. 162. 175. 175 again. 156. And the last shot is 
160, so averaging 166. That's honestly pretty good for having a not extremely high prime. If you were looking to max out your FPS, you could get one of those 16 kg springs, pop it in there. That could obviously be pretty great. Um, I'm gonna swap this out now so we can just, I'm not gonna do the Omega Bro again just cause I got, okay. Results, <laughs> got results kind of close to just the original one. So this is again the, oh, <laughs> almost put it back together without the bolt. <laughs> this is the stock barrel length minus the zero, but with the original spring, no spacer, because I believe this would get, this is gonna get higher FPS from what I've seen of the pre-production alpha kit that didn't have the zero attached with the same setup i believe was getting a bit higher fps numbers so for those of you that might want better performance the zero might not be what you're interested in but i'll be showing off a lot with higher fps in the future i believe oh, what those are not in place Oh, the bolt is not in place. All right, so five, again, five worker gen threes. This is the stock barrel minus the zero and the fully stock spring. I expect higher numbers. Now, I will say, it might not actually go all the way through since the barrel is kind of free floating now. Let me go see if I can find a foam barrel. We'll see. 156. Why does it sound better? Because it's zero bad. Interesting. Oh, miss. Uh -huh. uh huh, Jacob, you're bad. 149. 162. You guys, your last shot. Missed again. <laughs> I think they are clipping the inside of the barrel and that's why they're coming out at weird angles. <laughs> I'm not a bad shot. That's awesome. 151. 162, so averaging 156. So a little bit higher FPS by removing the zero. Uh, now, doing the same test, stock barrel length, no zero, but with the spacer. So 10 kg spring with a spacer, stock barrel length, no zero, five worker gen threes. 182. Oh, yeah. 182 again, holy shit. <laughs> 178. 168. Okay, does this make you jealous? What? He has a oh. Yep. FPS average over the five shots is 178. That's honestly really nice. <laughs> That's impressive. <laughs> 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 I would, I would, I would. Man. 178. 178. I would like to draw some connections from all the FPS numbers, but I can't really remember very much. I'll draw the connections on the screen now. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Tucker. I'm just pulling up the numbers in front of me and we can go over the results. We couldn't do this in the video because neither of us writ written them down, so. The stock average is 146. That's with the zero and no spacer. And there's a 10 FPS increase once you take both of those off, the no space or no zero. So basically no zero, I guess. That's 156. And then at just no zero, but with a spacer, it's 178. That's a huge improvement over the stock average. Almost a, actually, over a 30 FPS gain just by taking off the zero and adding a spring spacer. And now we have the Omega Barrel with no zero, no spacer. That's 153. That's a total 7 FPS gain over just the stock setup. And then we have the... Um, we didn't do any other tests with the Omega Barrel, um, so 
they were just pretty similar to the the stock barrel so we didn't feel the need to test any further with that if people are interested we probably will and then there's the brass barrel with no zero no spacer 109 uh, we think it was a little too long for the setup in the spring so we um, that's why it's showing such low numbers and then we put the the spacer in with no zero and we got 166 that's a total of 20 fps gain over the original stock setup which is which is pretty impressive for it still being too long of a barrel uh, we think it would be somewhere a little longer than a stock barrel and a little shorter than uh, the 27 centimeter barrel from the Omega kit so do what you want with that this is um, results we found and you can draw your um, conclusions from the numbers but it looks like the Omega barrel is pretty good just off the bat and the you can always just stick with the stock setup with a 10 kg spring and just take off the zero and add a spacer and you're going to be hitting just about 180 and that's pretty good in my opinion all right back to the video um but yeah so honestly as you guys can see the Cedo is a really good platform for upgrades and switching things out as a designer i'm gonna say i'm a designer now uh, when I was working on my initial homemade internal kit, having the CETA there so that I could quickly go in through and look at what wasn't working, what needed tweaks, uh, it was a godsend. And I loved it. It would have made my life so much harder if I was having to use just a stock retaliator or a processor or whatnot. Uh, another thing I completely forgot to mention throughout this whole time is the new CETA is matte and it looks so much better. <laughs> I don't know how well it translates on camera. But God, as soon as Mr. Nathan handed this to us when we were meeting up to, to borrow it from him, immediately both Tucker and I were like, oh my God, that looks so much better than that. <laughs> like seeing them next to each other now, oh my God, the way that this looks so good. <laughs> the mat is such a better look. I'm so glad they made that change. And like, it's not one of those like a change we didn't yeah, <laughs> that's like the third thing on the CETA that I've talked about where like, I didn't know it was a thing that I didn't like, but now that they've done it, oh my god, they can just like have it shiny and everything. Um, but yeah, so this is kind of a long video, most of it just us crony testing various things and also talking about planned future upgrades and kits that I might plan on doing since I have it on here. Uh, look out in the future for that upgrade kit video also look out in the future for our review of the zero didn't really talk very much about it in this video besides various fps testing but we plan on diving a bit more into how well the zero actually works so once again thank you mr nathan <laughs> thank you guys for watching make sure to like and comment if you guys have any suggestions or things you want to say about the CETA, and we will check you guys out in the next one all right bye, -bye.